What's going on everybody? I'm Kevin Cheek Guitar and on today I want to talk about learning the notes on the fretboard and I believe that this method that I'm going to show you will actually help you to learn the notes a lot quicker, easier, and a little bit fun. So instead of learning the notes just by saying the letters are the notes when you put your finger on each fret on the string the way i'm going to show you to do it is to learn the notes by using octaves and the octave is the same note in a different pitch whether you go up or down <coughs> it's the same note so when doing octaves let me back up a little bit here when doing octaves um Let's say if we start on this note. Now I'm tuned in flats. So I'm tuned in E flat. Um, you're probably tuned in standard tuning, which is E A D G B E. But I'm tuned in E flat, so mine is E flat, A flat, D flat, G flat, B flat, and E flat for the open string. So this would be your E. But it's my E flat. That makes sense to you. So let's take this open E or E flat for instance. Now the octave of that would be right here. Those are the same notes. And another octave would be on the first string so so far we have this note this note so so far we have the open E or in my case it would be open E flat and when I say open that mean I don't have to put my finger on that string so on the sixth string the second fret the second fret on the fourth string and then the first string open and that is the octave so if that's E or in my case E flat now what if we move up to another string? Let's go to the first fret and play that sixth string note. And now let's go up two frets. All right, one, two. And then we're gonna go down to the fourth string. We're on the sixth string now. Go down. Fourth string. That's the same note. Octave. And now we're going to go to that first string, which is the same note as this one. So remember, on the sixth string, the fourth string in the first string this is how you would calculate this if you're on that sixth string you go over two frets and then you move down two strings and then you'll find the octave of that note and for the high the first string which is the high e string in my case is the high um <coughs> Yeah, in my case, it's the high E string. In your case, it's the um, F. It's always on the same fret as the, the sixth string note. So you have... So if 
you want to, you can call out the notes as well. E. 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 Now, what if you move up to the third fret where you see the inlay at? It may be a dot or it may be a, a bird, but whatever you have on your guitar, it should be on the third fret. Six string, then we're gonna go over two, down two, octave. Then we're gonna go back to the, the high octave. And that's how you find the octaves using that six string, fourth string, and the first string. So, let's, for example, because this first fret, in my case, because I'm tuning E flat, but if you're tuning standard tuning, it's going to be um, F for you. So, it'll be this note. But since I'm in E flat, tuning E flat, my, my note is going to be E right here. So if this is E, go over two, down two strings, that's another E. Then on the first string, that's another E. So what comes after E in the musical alphabet? Do you know? If we're going... And um, whole notes, we're going to go to F. So if this is E, what's next? F. Now if this is F, we go over two, down two, this is F. And we know that wherever that sixth string note is, if that's F on the first string, on the same fret, that's going to be F as well. So we have F, F, F. And then what's after F? G. This is going to be G. But like I said, if you're tuned in standard tuning, your G is going to be on the third fret. So this is B, G. How many frets do you suppose to move over? Two. One, two. Now how many strings are you supposed to move down? Two. One, two. So this is G. Then. pattern six string fourth string two frets over two strings down and then the high E string on the same fret as the sixth string now let's move to the fifth string in my case it's A flat. And with this one, it's another pattern that is easy and it'll help you to learn your octaves. So if this is A flat, guess what? We got to go over two frets, then down down two strings you, you see in the pattern all right let's move up one fret to this note this is my a on the fifth string a we're gonna move over two 
frets. One, two, and down two strings. One, two. That's the octave. So this is A. This is A. Let's move to this note on the third fret. In your case, it would be C. But in my clay case, it's B. So how can we find the octave of this note on the fifth string? Move over two, one, two. Then we're gonna move down two strings. There it is. So you see in the pattern of two, whatever string that you start on, you play that note. Move over two frets, move down two strings. All right, let's say we wanna find the octave of a note on another string on that same fifth fret. Let's move over to the fifth fret on the fifth string. In your case, if you're tuned in standard, this will be the note D. But in my case, because I'm tuned in E flat, this will be C sharp. So how can we find that octave? Go over two, down two strings. There it is. Now I'm gonna show you another octave of that fifth string. All right, so we're on this note. Fifth fret, fifth string. Now we're going to find the octave of this note somewhere else that's close by. Watch this. So we're on this note. Now what we're going to do is move back. We're going to go back this way. We're going to go back two, two frets. One, two. Now, how many times do you think we're going to have to move down? Is it two or three? Let's see. All right, so we're going to move back to. It's three times if you move back. As far as the strings. So, fifth string, fifth fret. Move backwards, two frets. Then down three strings. And there's the octave. The octave is on the second string on the third fret. So if this is C sharp, we go back to down three strings. There's another C sharp. And then, don't forget about the other one. We move up two and down two strings. There's another C sharp. So look, a pattern of three. Got it? That's on the fifth string. Go up two, down two, octave, same note. Fifth string, move backwards two frets, down three strings, there's another octave. And that's anywhere on the fretboard. 
but it's like I said, it's a good thing to call out the notes. So let's try that in the key of C. Now your C will be on the third fret, fifth string, but mine is on the fourth fret because I'm tuned in E flat once again. Go move up two strings, two frets, and move down two strings. There it is, C. Now let's find the other one on the second string. There it is on the fifth string. Move backwards two frets. Then move down three strings. There it is. So that's one way that you can learn your notes and by practicing them. And that's just on the sixth string and the fifth string. But guess what? You're learning them on multiple strings because you're practicing using the octave, octave method. So if that's the octave on the second string, if you know that this is the same note as this, which is B in my for my case, if this is B, if this is B, what comes after B? C. And you just move a half step up. There's C. Now if you know that C, how can you find the C from this octave? Hmm. You do the same way. Move up. Fritz. Down two strings. There it is. All right. So what about the fourth string? In your case, that fourth string open will be D. In my case, in my case is D flat. Okay, so let's go to the third fret on the fourth string. Do you recognize something familiar about this fourth string note? Do you remember the first notes I showed you starting on the sixth, sixth string? Thing. So you already know some octaves. But guess what? We can find that octave again. Let's see how many times we have to move over. Let's move move over three times. Then go down two. There's an octave. Fourth string, second string, same note. So you move over one, two, three frets. Then you're going to move down two strings. So if we put all that together, we have this sixth string. Fourth string, first string, second string, same note. And do you remember about the second string? How many times we need to move up? One, two, three. 
three over two. Oh, there it is on the fifth string. And remember, move over two, down two. Now watch how much space we cover on the fretboard just from the octaves. space on the fretboard isn't it so remember to call out these notes and as you call these notes out you'll begin to know where they are um, for instance this is note E in your case it's going to be F I have to keep saying that because I'm tuned in the E flat if I move up a whole step, which is two frets, what will that be? Do you know? If this is E, what's this note? Put it in the comments. In your case, this would be a G. In my case, it's a G flat. So if this is G flat, go over two, down two strings, that's a G flat. High E string, that's a G flat. Then if you practice calling out your notes and practice the octaves on each fret, you'll know all the notes on your fretboard. So make sure you guys like, subscribe. Let me know if this makes sense to you. The octave method to learning the notes on the guitar. Um, I wish I would have known about this when I first started. It would have been a lot more easier to me for me to understand. But back then, I didn't. But as I progressed, I learned this method, and it actually does help um, for you to understand it a little better. Stay tuned for the next video. Hope you guys are enjoying and learning guitar.